So these are some examples of what you can do with a degree in environmental economics and management. Welcome back to day 40 of my 90 day challenge where for 90 days I am highlighting a college major, letting you know what it's about, what courses to expect in college and what are some of the career paths you can get into with these degrees. Today we're talking about environmental economics and management, so let's get started. Environmental economics and management integrates business economics and environmental sustainability. So it's looking at how does the environment influence the business's success and vice versa. How is the growth of the business influencing the environment? Is it impacting the environment in a positive or negative way? And how can we still build the business in the current environment? To give you a few examples of some of the applications of this major, here are a few articles that have been published in the Journal of Environmental Economics and Management. One article that I actually found really interesting was the water in the time of course coronavirus, the effects of stay-at-home orders on water demand in the desert. This article explains that with the stay-at-home orders during the pandemic, the water usage in commercial areas and schools decreased, people are not going to work, while residential water usage increased. Actually, according to this article, the net water usage was between 32 to 59 million gallons of water over the first 30 days, and that has actually increased over time. This raises some eyebrows when it comes to the water companies looking at how sustainable it would be to provide water if the lockdowns continued for two to three years for example thank god for vaccines but that would be devastating you know other interesting articles you can, that you can check out and i'll leave the links in the description is global vulnerability of crop yields in climate change or looking at the environmental policies that shape productivity so these are some examples of what you can do with a degree in environmental economics and management and we will look at some of the career paths that you can get into later in this video so stick around in terms of compensation according to ZipRecruiter, the average pay of an environmental consultant is about $55,000 a year, which translates to about $27 an hour. Loving what you're hearing so far? Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and let's look at some of the courses to expect when majoring in environmental economics and management. Courses for this major focus on environmental sustainability, environmental economics, and policy analysis. So you'll take a lot of business classes and you also take a lot of sustainability classes. Examples of some of the courses to expect include food product marketing, ecological economics, environmental economics, micro and macro economics, decision making in the agri-food system, data analysis in the agri-food system, introductory classes in finance, supply chain management, financial accounting, managerial economics and statistics. In addition to courses, you may also be required to participate in internships, undergrad research or independent study in order to graduate with a degree in environmental economics and management. Depending on the school or the program that you're in, you may also focus on a particular core area. For example, at Michigan State, their core areas of study include economic analysis, basic environmental science, environmental law and policy, and micro and macro economics. It is always a good idea to talk to your academic advisor to make sure that you're taking the right classes and you don't waste time taking unnecessary classes since books and tuition are very expensive. For a full list of courses offered for this major, specifically at Michigan State, I will leave a link in the description for you to check out after this video. Still with me? Let me know by leaving this timestamp in the comment section and let's look at some of the career paths you can get into with a degree in environmental economics and management. The most common career path to get into with a degree in environmental economics and management is becoming an environmental consultant. As an environmental consultant, you can work for the government or you could work for non-profit organization or even for-profit organizations or even go into higher education and become a professor. However, you can still go into other career paths and you can have job positions such as an environmental environmental economics analyst, agriculture economist, environmental policy analyst, or resource management specialist. Do you know any environmental economics and management students or graduate? How about sharing this video with them to show them that you know something about their major? If you want to learn more about college majors, careers, and undergrad research tips, consider subscribing, especially if you're a Michigan State University student because I use MSU resources as examples in most of my videos. Watch this video next and I will see you all tomorrow as we discuss environmental studies and sustainability. Jackie Fi, out. I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you Maybe up with a slow motion crew And we up in the clouds when people change But not us, and we just chilling